that you see CNN and the media um, talking evil about Islam, of Islam, but because they want to drive the attention of the masses away from the goodness of, of Islam. You know, every day they will tell you about I don't know, ISIS did this, somebody did this, and because of ISIS, and even Muslims today we say ISIS, and we shouldn't even say ISIS, because when we say ISIS did something, or ISIS is, it's saying that ISIS is the Islamic state of Iraq and Syria, and ISIS has not, it's not an Islamic state, as uh, Zakir Naik said, we used we have to say a ISIS, an entire, entire Islamic state of uh, Iraq and Syria, because they have nothing to do with with Islam, but when the Kafir, the Kufar say that we repeat it after them, it's like we are saying it's the Islamic State that is doing so and so and so. And Allah wa Taala said to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, "This is the way." So take it easy. And in Surah to Zariyah, uh, uh, Allah says something very important that there is no prophet except that his people accuse to him of Sihr or Junoon. Of Sihr or Junoon, which is to be crazy or mad. And one of our sheikhs said, why all the prophets were accused of Junoon, of craziness or madness? Because Jazb looks like craziness, looks like Junoon. You know, when the revelation comes, the prophet is not as normal as he is when the revelation does not come. Because it is a heavy uh, word. When the prophet re receives the revelation, you see them acting up. You see them sweating. You see them, their face changing. And that looks like craziness. Because their whole mind is taken away from them until the revelation stays. Until the revelation stays. Because now they are in contact, direct contact with Allah Taala. They are annihilated in the presence of Allah Taala. That's why Jazbu looks like uh, uh, craziness. Do you know? But Jazbu in khatful lil aqli nurani. Well, do you know khatful lil aqli dhulmani? Craziness is something that has to be to do with darkness that takes away your 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 apple, your intellect. But jazb is something uh, that is nurani. It's from Allah Taala that takes away your apple for the time being, because the revelation is is coming. As Allah says, "Atawasaubik, banu qawm taabun, batawla anu, fama anta bi malu, wa dakir, fa inna dikra taawa ibnu minin." So Allah Taala will tell us the story of the different prophets from. Adam, from Nuh, from the prophets who came after them, up to, do, up to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam and he will um, also uh, direct or um, uh, invite us to look uh, at the um, at, 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 at the al-barahin, al-qati'a, the proofs that we everyday see with our own eyes the proofs that that are before us وَلَقَدْ جَعَلْنَا فِي السَّمَاءِ بُرُوجًا وَزَيَّنَّاهَا لِلنَّاظِرِينَ وَحَفِرْنَاهَا مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ and not only that but the ayah would also point some of the non-good people around the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam there is an ayah وَلَقَدْ عَلِمْنَا الْمُسْتَقْدِمِنَ مِنْكُمْ وَلَقَدْ عَلِمْنَا الْمُسْتَاخِرِينَ yeah, Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas said that they, when, when they used, when they, when they prayed, there was a beautiful woman who used to be in the masjid. And some of the Sahaba, because they were very pious and good, they didn't want to stay behind because they didn't want to have the fitna, to see that fitna of the beauty of the woman. They came before, they, they, they went to uh, the, 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 the first rak, the first asaf. But some of the weak uh, people, I wouldn't call them Sahaba, because around the Prophet you had Sahaba, and you had also people who were just um, pretending to be Sahaba. As we all know that in Medina we had 
360 hypocrites. So these people were either hypocrites or you can say they were weak people who just entered Islam and didn't have strong faith yet. They used to be behind the, the soft so that they will have uh, a look out at, the, at, this, at, this, at, at this beautiful sister. And Allah is telling them, I know. I know those who go forward among you as well as those who go uh, behind the soft. So that time we didn't have the dividers. The Prophet used to encourage the men to go to the first soft and the best soft of the women is the last uh, soft. So that um, uh, the, 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 there will be you know, a barrier as uh, he said in the hadith بَعِيدُ بَيْنَ أَنْفَاسِ الْتِجَالِ وَالنِّسَاءِ You know, you should separate, make far away um, the, 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 make the, the anfas, meaning the breath of the man far away from the breath of, 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 of women. And Allah in, in details, he will tell us the story of Sayyidina Adam and the first um, then ever committed, the first sin ever committed is committed by uh, Iblis or let's say the two first sins the sin of envy and the sin of kibble, which is arrogance. That's why he didn't want to prostrate before, before Adam, <coughs> alayhi salam. And another first sin that a human being has ever co uh, committed, according to Imam Malik, is the sin of health, of health. You know, too, too long for so much of, of this dunya. Because Sayyidina Adam and Hawa, you know, we can say this metaphorically because they were intended to do so so that they would go to earth because Allah didn't say He created them to go to Jannah. He said He will create a Khalifa on, on earth. In Nijayil Hirabi, Khalifa. But they just went to Jannah to see what Jannah looks like so that they can work well to go back there. But longing for more made them in this in, in, uh, uh, go, get, get out of, of Jannah. That's called health. And when they came on earth, the first sin ever committed on earth, on earth was also the sin of, of envy by one of the two sons of, of Adam. And Allah talks also about the Qisra of Sayyidina Ibrahim when the angels came to um, give him glad tidings of a newborn baby. And he was um, wondering how would this happen his wife as well. You see the difference between the Quran and, 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 and the Bible. In the Quran, Allah wa ta'ala said there were angels who went to Sayyidina Ibrahim. And the Mufassir they said there were three angels, as we can see in the um, Hadith. Uh, three angels, but when Ibrahim brought the food before them, they didn't want to eat. In the Bible, you will find that it was two angels and God himself. And in the Bible, it will say that they ate. God himself ate from the from the food, and they will say that God, um, you know, you can what you can understand from what they say is that God had affair with the wife of Ibrahim because he gave her appointment to meet her next year and did what he said he would do to to her according to the Bible. Here you see the difference between um, the Quran which is the word of God and the Bible, <coughs> which was originally the word of God, but changed, it is changed. Or we can, can we even say that Bible was originally the word of God? Because to us, the word of God was an Injil. So maybe they take some parts of Injil and some pieces that they make up or they learn from others and then call it an, an Injil or call it um, a Torah or Injil and combine the combining them, it will, will give you what we have today, uh, the Bible. So Quran came to to change to correct these lies. فَوَيْلٌ لِلَّذِينَ يَكْتُبُونَ الْكِتَابَ بِأَيْدِيهِمْ ثُمَّ يَقُولُونَ هَذَا مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ يَشْتَرُ بِهِ ثَمَنًا قَلِيلًا. But uh, and the piece of Shuaib, but the main piece because of which this surah is named after Al Hijr is the piece of Sayyidina Salih and his people. Hijr is a valley between Al Madina al Munawwara and Sham, which is the actual Syria. Al Urdan, the Palestine, Lebanon, and the so called Israel. I don't call it Israel because to me it doesn't exist. Forgive me if I'm wrong. But 
That is why Allah Taala named this surah after Al Hijr, the people of of Salih. And Allah Taala showed them the miracle they were asking for, but the miracle didn't do anything uh, for them to accept. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas that said that the miracle they asked for was the Naqa, as mentioned in the Quran, the she camel, the baby she camel. And he says there are signs in this Naqa. Number one is the fact that these she camel came out of, of a rock. Second thing is the quickness of her birth. Third thing is the rhythm of her khuluq, rhythm khulukiha, the mind of her creation. It, it, no nap has ever been like it. And number four was Kathratu Labaniha. The fact that it has so many, so much milk that the whole place we used to um, eat from it. But with all of that, they didn't have any tankira um, uh, from it. They didn't have, they didn't, they couldn't use that to um, take it as a sign and to accept the uh, message of Sayyidina Saleh. And the, uh, the, the, the surah will be ended by the, um, this beautiful ni'mah of Allah. Um, he is reminding to Rasulullah, he's reminding Rasulullah of this ni'mah, which is the ni'mah of Al-Fatiha. We have given you the seven mathani and the great Quran. You know, the scholars have different, some say the, the Sab'u al-Mathani are the seven long surah from Baqarah to um, Surah Al-A'raf, but the uh, correct, the most correct answer is that view or opinion is that it is Al-Fatiha, because the Prophet Sallallahu says, the Fatiha is Sab'u al-Mathani wal Quran al-Azim al uchituhu. And in the Fatiha you have seven um, uh, ayah that look alive. So as the Prophet says, this is a sab al matan And it is the great Quran, meaning it, com it has in it the entire uh, books which were revealed by Allah to his different uh, prophets. And Allah will tell the Prophet وسلم, to take it easy in the um, last ayah. Because in this, uh, in this last ayah you will find And this ayah Allah now it is time for you to go public to call to the way of Allah. And when he called everybody to come out, he told them about this deed. He called them to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Uh, he is very uncle Abu Lahab and cursed him. And Allah says, when Abu Lahab said, "Tabban la kasaira liyomi ali hada da'utana," Allah said, "Tabban ya Abu Lahab." And in the last ayah, Allah will tell us that on Yom Al Qiyamah, He will um, ask everybody whatever they did. And in fact, in some ayah, you will find Allah saying, Nobody will be asked. So if you don't pay attention, you say there's contradiction. In fact, there are, the scholars say that there are places where one will be asked, there are places where one will not be asked. But Ibn Abbas said, no, there will be questions, but there will be not questions for, for information. For, you know, it, it will be su'al tawbihin wa taqri'in, la su'al istikhbarin wa sta'lamin. It is su'al of mockery, su'al of, you know, blame, that why did you do so? So, and here he said, and here he said, that's how we uh, understand it. So, we know from this uh, surah, Surah Al Hijr, with this giant people who had everything and thought never that, uh, never thought that something or someone could do anything against them. And Allah wa Taala in a morning, He destroyed them. He's telling the people of Mecca, you should be careful. He's telling to all of us to be um, careful. We ask Allah wa ta'ala to make us among those who learn the Quran, read the Quran, and mm -hmm. get benefit of the Quran. Mm -hmm. And he also, we ask him to make the Quran hujjatan lana, a proof for us, not hujjatan alayna, a proof against us. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.